psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory immune-mediated skin disease that is characterized by a complex pathophysiology. Recent advances in the understanding of psoriasis pathogenesis have clarified the pivotal role of interleukin-23. This cytokine has become the therapeutic target of a new category of biologic drugs for psoriasis. In this HCP Live peer exchange discussion, I am joined by a panel of expert nurse practitioners and physician assistants. Together, we are going to discuss the advances in diagnosing and the strategies for the practical management of plaque psoriasis, including the use of IL-23 inhibitors. I'm Melody Young, a nurse practitioner at Mindful Dermatology and Modern Research Associates in Dallas, Texas. Today, I am joined by Margaret Verbonich, Assistant Professor in the Department of Dermatology at Case Western Reserve University and University Hospitals Cleveland Medical Center in Cleveland, Ohio. Melissa Davis, a Physician Assistant at Associates in Dermatology in Louisville, Kentucky. And Douglas DiRogerio, a Physician Assistant at the Skin Cancer and Cosmetic Dermatology Center in Rome, Georgia. Thank you for joining us. Let's begin. So to start, Margaret, I'm gonna ask you to begin uh, explaining and discussing the pathogenesis of psoriasis and the genetics associated with the disease and what we've learned over the last few decades about this uh, very interesting disease. Well, you know, I think a lot of us feel that it's a good day an age to be a psoriasis patient because we've learned so much in the past few decades, not only about the pathogenesis, but the treatments that are, are offered. So first and foremost, you know, people see psoriasis on their skin, but what, what providers and patients need to learn is that this is about their immune system. And um, psoriasis uh, is inflammation, inflammation of the skin, but it also can be found in the synovial fluid and more and more research that we're doing, inflammation in other parts of our body. But it's not what we see. Oftentimes the patients come in because they see the plaques on their skin or maybe the joint pain. So psoriasis is um, inflammatory cytokines and other in inflammation in our body that's triggered. And it is both present in the cytokine, excuse me, keratinocytes and um, what we are learning more and more is that there's a broad spectrum. Decades ago, we began by looking at cytokines like TNF. Now we've learned that there are other cytokines and other pathways that trigger it. So it's just not a simple process that we can put our finger on. Um, and we are learning more and more about that. The comorbidities that are associated. We also know there's some genetics to it. Um, Patients come in and um, tell us, you know, they have no family history. But what we've learned is because a patient doesn't have a family history of psoriasis, it doesn't mean that they don't have it. There's still um, a significant portion of patients that have psoriasis with no family history. So a lot of people will, will phrase it, this is the most heritable disease, skin disease that you can have. So more and more that we've learned, 